Hi folks, this is Eldon Yoder with Yoder Outdoor Furnaces. Um, just wanted to show you one of the couple of the changes on the new G series this year. Um, I say the new G series, some of the changes that are new for this year. One is the door latch is different. Um, you'll see it's just a single latch on the left instead of the wider handle with the roller top and bottom. Um, some of the reason for that, they're trying to minimize the amount of contact and penetrations from the tank to the outside air. Um, so instead of having two brackets, there's just one um, coming through the uh, insulation there. And also one of the changes on the inside here, uh, originally was just this um, high temp silicone gasket with the rope behind it. They've widened the door and insulated it, uh, filled it with foam, and then added another gasket. So it's a double gasket. And when that closes, the door jam here um, hits the gasket, and that's what seals from the heat of the fire and the suction of the fan and all that, that did the job the old gasket did. But then with this additional gasket, it hits the front sheet metal here. And so that hot door jam is not out in the elements at all anymore. So it's trying to minimize the heat loss off of it. Um, this whole door now uh, has an additional couple inches of spray foam inside here to minimize heat loss. Same thing on your reburn door. Um, that's a little small thing that uh, they've done to try to get their efficiency levels up. Uh, once you've tuned out the, the burn of the stove, um, you've got to hunt for some small details to get those numbers better. So that's some things they've done to try to improve. Um, this is something they've done for a couple years now on the G-Series is that the lift hook is also your vent pipe, so there's just one penetration through the roof. Um, try again, trying to minimize the places that heat can come through um, you know, the direct connection of steel or stainless or whatever out to the top beyond the insulation. Um, so that's just some little details that are always trying to make small changes and improve the models. So I'll pass that on. Thanks.